back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, I'm back at it, ready to do a barrel proof blind tasting. So this actually idea, I have to give credit to one of my patrons. One of my patrons reached out and said, hey, you know, you, you know, you talk about these a lot or, you know, review them recently. So which one is actually the best of these four? So I figured, hey, let's might, might as well go ahead and make a review out of it, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to review four different barrel proof bourbons. And they also have almost kind of have like three different themes in a way. Uh, you have, of course, Wild Turkey Rare Breed, which is like just old school. You can find it for the most part pretty easy. Um, for the most part, I get some places might be slightly hard to find. Uh, but an old school barrel proof bourbon, which you can again find for the most part rather easy. You have the new kid on the block. You have uh, Traverse City out of uh, Michigan. Traverse City, um, again, a craft distillery up and coming, doing a lot of great things. And then you have really very two popular um, Heaven Hill products, which we all find, well, three times per year. You have Elijah Craig Barrel Proof uh, Bourbon, and then also Larceny. So this is the Larceny C921, which is the most recent one because of, again, that little delay. And then you have the Elijah Craig. This is the A122. So if you see all four of these, in my opinion, all four are buys. I love them all. They all range anywhere from 116 to about 122 proof. Uh, and then also from a, um, when you think about it, uh, you know, this one is probably the one that you can easily get actually online. You can go directly to their website, to Traverse City, to their website, and you can actually find this bottle and buy it. But again, they range anywhere from like 60 to $85 based off of like MSRP. Plus, you always have some stores that might mark them up a little bit. So these two are easily $60, $65. But unfortunately, with marked up, they're typically about $80. This one actually on the website, I believe it is like $85 on a dot. And then, of course, the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. It's for the most part about $50 to $60, again, to kind of depending on where you're at. So, craft distillery, old school, rare breed, the most popular, Elijah Craig and Larceny. How do they rank in a blind tasting? We're going to check it out. Let's do it. Uh, last thing before we get started, obviously Mrs. Judge poured these, so I truly have no clue which is which. I'm just going to go in order from the first glass to the last, and then I'll rank them. Uh, I will say a huge shout out to my good friends and check these guys out over at Age and Ore. Uh, they have a ton of great products. I'm just highlighting these, uh, this whiskey flight, which is a really good uh, flight in terms of for, uh, blind tastings. Cool? All right. Let's rock and roll, folks. Let's start with this first class here. Get on know which is which because Mrs. Judge poured these and I was kicked out of the room. She takes this very serious. <laughs> As it should be, right? <laughs> Mrs. Judge keeps me in check, literally. <laughs> All right. So from a nose standpoint, I'm not going to go into too much depth because I will, uh, obviously I don't know which is which, but um, I will put the links because again, I've reviewed all four of these before. I'll put the link up above for all four. They're all great, fantastic uh, barrel proof bourbons. It'll be interesting to see which one comes in first place. The uh, blind tasting never lies. Uh, this is very nice and dark. I mean, deep rather, very nice and deep. Very creamy, very oak forward. I don't know. I know my buddy Dave Marcasa is like, Bourbon Judge, which one do you think it is? If I had to guess, this might be Traverse City. Traverse City, uh, I really enjoy the hell out of that bourbon. But then again, it might be, a, I don't know. All right, I think it's Traverse City, but I'm not sure. I truly am not sure. All right, cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh no, that can't be Traverse City. It's, it has a little bit of like the nut and like the uh, caramel and the brown sugar and oak. If I had to guess actually after the palate, to me that definitely might be Rare Breed. That is a fantastic pour. And obviously it's the first one I tried, so uh, it's going in the first spot. <laughs> and I'll flip all these at the end so that, you know, keep it true, legit, blind tasting. That is actually amazing. Tons of oak, tons of caramel, tons of brown sugar, and a little bit of uh, nut in the background, and a little bit of also banana as well in the palate. Very nice, very bold, fantastic. Again, my guess, that is a wild turkey rare breed. But who knows? Who knows? It's been a long day. I'm actually been looking forward to this bad boy. All right, so that goes in first place. Let's go to the next glass. All right, get to the nose here. All right, so this is a little bit more not as robust in the nose, a little bit more leather, 
slightly more maybe like notes of like orange peel. I can see this being like Heaven Hill product. All right, all right. Let's rock and roll. Only one way to find out, right? Cheers, everybody. Ooh, that was really nice. Very spicy in the palate. I'm gonna leave a, just a smidge in each glass in case I need to go back between two. Very nice, uh, very peppery in the palate. A little bit of that orange peel came through. God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna small little sip. Mm, I like that a lot. Wow, that's really nice. I like that a lot and it's really good. I feel like the first glass was a bit more bold and robust. The palate on the second glass was better, but the, pa uh, sorry, the, 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 um, the nose on the second glass was better, but the palate and the finish on the first glass was just amazing. Not sure which one this is, but we shall see. All right, let's keep going. I need three quick, easy favors. You guys know me. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, Drop me a comment, let me know your thoughts, let me know, hey, of these four, if you tried them all, which one's your favorite barrel proof uh, of these four? And last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time that the Bourbon Judge puts out content. Cool? All right. Oh, man. All right, on to the third glass. Here we go. Let's see. Hmm, this is different on the nose. A lot more, way spicier. Tons more of like a black pepper, almost like a, uh, a licorice note in there. Wow, some licorice notes, some orange peel. A little bit of leather, a little bit of brown sugar. Very nice on the nose though, I like this. This is definitely the uh, most complex thus far on the nose. <laughs> Cheers everybody. Wow, this is really good. Damn, this is close. I'm gonna put it up here. It's a tie between first and second. I like that a lot though. That's really good and I left just a little bit in there. I like that one a lot because the nose was great. The palate was great. It was like the perfect combination. Again, all four of these are by, so it's not like, you know, regardless what comes in fourth versus third place versus second in the winner. All of them are buys. If for me personally, if I'm out in the store, I'm buying all of them. But this is more about if you happen to see all of them and you only want to buy one bottle that day, which one would it be and why? I like this glass a lot, only because the nose and the palate both matched. Wow, that's really tough on that one. All right, let me get a little bit more H2O. Then we're gonna move over to the last, last man standing over here, this fourth one. All right, I'm gonna move this around too, like that. Put these two right here. This is definitely third place as of right now. <laughs> All right, cheers everybody. So real quick nose. I was so excited, I almost forgot to nose it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta laugh sometimes, right? At, at yourself as well, you have to. From a nose standpoint, this is all right, it's mild on the nose. It's not as robust. It doesn't have a ton of like depth to it in the nose. You get a little bit of uh, some caramel, some vanilla, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of maple syrup as well. Hmm, all right. Good on the nose. Not fantastic, but good on the nose. All right, now we can see it, cheers. Wow. Really good. Oh, that was really nice. The palette wasn't extremely bold. The nose is great. The palette was not extremely bold though. Let me get a little smidge more. Same thing. Palette was great. It was good, but not great. But, but good overall, overall good. All right, that's gonna go in the fourth place spot. So we got two glasses up front. Got a little drop in that one and a little on that one. So I wanna revisit this first glass again, just to see. Let's 
That's very nice. That, that's really good in the palate. Damn, that's tough. Let me get a little bit more of this one real quick. Just a smidge. Just to see. All right. This is tough, man. Gosh. This is difficult. I mean, really difficult. Hmm. Wow. So, I'm going to stick with my original decision. The first glass is actually in the first place. This was the second. And we'll go with third, fourth. So, again, I have no clue which is which. But, let's be, keep it real. So, we'll go ahead and flip all of these over. Just so we can be straight up. I got them all labeled here. Flip them all at the same time. I'm, I'm still I'm still kind of decided between those two. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna stick with it with the way it was. All right. All right. So, going reverse order. Coming in fourth place. I thought it was a K. I just didn't think it was great. Again, all of these are buys, but for for the four of these, I just thought it was okay. Nose was okay. Palette was okay. Finish was okay. But we don't live life just for okay. So I had to pick the best of the best. So it wasn't the best. Coming in fourth place with this glass, and there's a little bit left, so I might as well finish it because it was still pretty good. <laughs> what was this glass? Hold on. It's over here. Coming in fourth place, letter D. Fourth place goes to letter D, and letter D is, ooh, wow. Elijah Craig, A122. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo, sorry for your luck. Again, it's a buy. It just wasn't as great as these three. Okay, so that is the fourth place spot. Coming in the third place spot, which again, I thought this one was, from what I recall, you know, good in the nose, really good in the palate. Um, but again, just wasn't as well rounded as those two. Letter B, and letter B has a little bit of left in the uh, glass here. Again, these are all buys, so. I'm not leaving whiskey in the glass. Not today. Not ever. Oh, that's good. Sweet. Letter B. Wow. No way. Larceny. <laughs> C921 comes in third place. Gets the bronze. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's interesting because I do love this bottle a lot. It's it's a fantastic pour, but obviously today with the uh, blind, it wasn't that fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's just go to the first place because obviously we know of these. One, the first place is either Wild Turkey or it's Traverse City. So I'm going to go directly to the winner. The gold medal goes to... This is glass A, and glass A is OMG! Woo! Traverse City coming in as the craft distillery. Wow, I did not expect that. Put them in order like that. I might as well keep them in order. Traverse City wins the blind battle. That's amazing. Hey, it just goes to show you. You don't have to be the, you know, 100-year-old, you know, long story of success. Sometimes you can be the new kid on the block and you can knock it out the park. Traverse City, shout out to you. There's a winner. Peace, cheers, salute. Take care, everyone. Later.